Cheers, and welcome back to Motivational Box Trucking. Let's get right into these DUI truckers. So I had a DUI in the past, and when I decided to get my CDL, I didn't know if I would be eligible or not. So I went to the DMV, and they told me that I was. So I guess enough time had passed, and you know, it felt pretty good to know that I could actually do it. You know, so if you if you didn't have a DUI or something in the, in the past, still check out because you, it just may be possible, you know. So you're wondering, can you get a CDL class A driving job with a DUI or a reckless? The answer is yes. For the most part, it's going to take three years from the conviction date for a select number of companies and for a majority of the companies, five years from the conviction date. But you can get a CDL class A driving job. If you're still struggling with those, try to find a small family owned local company, maybe on Craigslist or Indeed. Remember, it's not the company that's hiring you, it's the insurance that's gonna hire you. If you have a DUI or a reckless, you are a liability, therefore they don't wanna take you on. But there is hope, so you can drive with a DUI or a reckless. It's going to be from three years from the conviction date or five years from the conviction date, depending on the company. Some companies, 10 years, some companies, not at all. But there is hope. It's going to be a no for me, dog. Impaired driving is a real issue in this industry. The stress of being on the road and trying to meet hours of service mixed with boredom and no oversight can lead to some questionable things being done in the truck. Doing roadside inspections, 1% of truck drivers were found to be under the influence. That's about 100,000 truckers. And those are just the ones that got caught. Some suggest it's close to 200,000 intoxicated drivers on the road at any given time. Odds are, at least one of y'all are drunk listening to this right now. In Virginia, if you are charged with a DUI, your CDL is immediately suspended on a first offense for a minimum of a year. If you run a non-CVL, you can still lose your driver's license, face jail time, and even get negative marks on your safer and basic scores. That goes for you or your employees. Remember, there are cameras everywhere. Don't let this be you. Driving under the influence of an alcoholic. I understand beverage. I've been driving under the motherfucking influence, but I understand that I wasn't also driving. I wasn't driving. But you do understand that you have been arrested, sir. I understand that I've been arrested. At this time, we're conducting a criminal investigation which is being videotaped by Broward Sheriff's Office for court presentation only. You understand that, sir? I guess who you got the motherfucking camera shining on, too. First is a balance test. You'll stand with both of your feet together, arms at your side, sir. Hey, well, hey, well, I'm, uh, well, I'm going to tell you just like this. I'm, I'm going to tell you just like this. I might, I'm drunk. Yeah, I've been drinking, but I wasn't driving. What? What's going on? Y'all are going to jail. Period. According to the FMCSA, drivers are not allowed to consume alcohol within four hours of going on duty. You are not allowed to have alcohol in your cab while on duty while you're operating or in physical control of a commercial vehicle. It can only be transported as a part of a shipment. These drivers must not have gotten the memo. Whoop, whoop. That's the sound of the police. Whoop, whoop. That's the sound of the beast. What was that ICR number again?
Peter. Take your time. Okay, stand your truck up. Are you fully loaded? No. No, is it an empty trailer? Yeah. I'll have you walk back towards my squad car, okay? You're gonna be able to do that. Lean against the lean against that. Hold on to my arm if you need to, okay? I'm um, gonna be skinny valley southbound then. Jake, and I'm not in a hurry. What's your first name? John. John? Okay. Let's walk. Let's keep walking back. Take SP 69. that way out. Health issues. Yeah? What are your health issues? I have low pressure. Okay. How much did you have to drink today, John? No? Okay. You feel the effects of the alcohol you drank? Yep. Yep. Okay. Okay, do you have alcohol in the vehicle? No. No? Okay. Where were you last drinking at? Think you can sit right on the front of my squad car yep. bumper here? You think okay. you can do that? Take yep. your time. Take your time. Not in a hurry. There you go. Okay. All right. You good there? You following that finger. You're doing just fine. Try not to move that head, though, okay? Keep that head straight forward. Just use your eyes to follow that finger out to the side. There you go. Full tone of size of gas. You follow the Burton Circle Filter Vodka. Damn! What I want you to do. I want you to use the tip, just one hand. Just use the tip of your thumb to touch the tips of your fingers. I'll show you what I want, okay? I'm just explaining it to you. You don't have to do it yet. All right, so you can use the tip of your thumb, touch the tip of your finger, all the way down, okay? And when you do it, you're gonna count. So just like this, okay? Watch my hand. You're gonna go one, two, three, four, four, three, two, one. Do you have any questions? No. I want you to do that two times. Two full, two full sequences. One, two, three, four, four, three, two, one. Just one, two? No, you're just supposed to do it on one hand. One, two, three, four, four, three, two, one. Okay, done? Okay. So, when was the last time you had a drink? I said last night. Last night? Okay. Man, I'm good, bro. I'm good. Would you take a breath test? I mean, I got some more, uh, what you call it? Uh, mouthwash. When's the last time you used mouthwash? A few minutes ago. A few minutes ago? Okay. Do me a favor, okay? Put your hands behind your hands for the breath test as a refusal. It's not a refusal. Okay, then what is it? It's a refusal for the breath, right? No, you said you didn't want to take it, correct? I'm afraid because I've been doing the mouthwash. Okay. Because I know mouthwash got alcohol in it. Okay, so you don't want to take the breath test, correct? I'm afraid. You're afraid to take the breath test? Yes. Okay, so I'm asking you straight up, do you want to take the breath test or not? <coughs> it don't say on that I got to do it. Okay, I'm going to take your actions as a refusal, okay? It's not a refusal. Alright, give me your leg. All right, once again, deep breath. I thought I just took two. It takes two samples, just to be sure. All right. Why it says 0 0.25? That's your breath alcohol content. You blew a point two five. That's because of the mouthwash. I keep telling That's not because of the mouthwash. If it was mouthwash, did you drink? I'm not even gonna question. So the zero point two five was your result. So that means I wouldn't intoxicate. No, that means you're like So the legal limit for a passenger vehicle is point zero eight, right? No, that's for a car. Yeah, that's for a car. For 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 eighteen wheelers, zero point zero four. Exactly, zero point zero four, right? Yeah. You blew a zero point two five. That's that's legal. That's not legal. You going to jail? 
you're going, going to jail. jail. Just FYI, a CDL driver cannot refuse a breathalyzer test or you can be put out of service for 24 hours. If it's your second or third offense of DUI, you can have your CDL revoked for 10 years. Even if you're in your personal vehicle, your CDL can still be suspended for like 90 days if convicted of a DUI. So over this holiday season, you might want to think twice about just drinking with family and friends and just hopping right in the truck. Don't do something you'll regret later. You got to be very careful what you do in your personal vehicle. Why? Because you have a CDL. Whatever you do in your personal vehicle, it affects your MVR. It goes on your MVR. So don't be out there drinking and driving. Don't be out there speeding. Don't be out there doing all kind of crazy stuff because guess what? It affects that CDL that you're holding. It also makes the insurance rates go up. So if you a driver, the company might have to, you know, they might change some, some pay. Or if you're an owner operator, your insurance rate is definitely gonna go up. Let's be honest. That's the last present you want this holiday season. Don't let a DUI get in the way of your M-O-N-E-Y. Until next time, stay safe and stay motivated. Be sure to join the Patreon. The link is in the description below.